All right, g'day guys, welcome back to another game day vlog featuring Laundry. Today, of course, going to Optus Stadium to see the Eagles take on the Saints. The game that was originally for Saturday night has been moved to 2.30. I'm just grateful uh, that I can go today. To be honest, there was rumors yesterday, some dirty little rumors about a lockdown in Perth. Turned out to be not true, uh, which is fantastic. So, very excited to go to Optus Stadium for the first game I think I've been to since that win against Richmond. So, boys have clearly been missing me. We've been absolute trash since. As you would know, if you saw just the tips this week, I did originally tip St Kilda, but uh, Rowan Marshall's out, and I think he's just such a pivotal player for them, and I, th I think that kind of does change the contest a little bit. With Ryder and Marshall in, I think St Kilda was going to win this game, and I just after last week's encouraging performance for the Eagles, I think we've got a bit more of a sniff, so uh, I'm going to back us in, and hopefully it's not the eighth time uh, we lose after I tip them this year. That would suck. Currently tuning in to Carlton versus North Melbourne on my enormous television screen. Uh, it's currently one point the difference. So hopefully, you know, North continue their good form. I, I would hate to see them, you know, stay shit after uh, beating us. It would be good to sort of vindicate us a little bit um, if they can keep getting a few wins as well. And it kind of makes the wooden spoon race interesting too. But anyway, gonna go see Dad now and let's head to Opta Stadium. All right, here we are at Opta Stadium. Dad, what are your predictions for the game? Well, I think we'll uh, cruise it in today, actually. Do you? I do. Really? I do. 20 points. Well, uh, yeah, 20 points. That's still kind of close. It was originally tipping St Kilda, Rowan Marshall out. Makes me a bit more confident, even though we got Shuey out. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing Connor West play another good game. Yeah. Um, I think Yo is really hitting his straps now. Mm. So I think we'll be good. Yeah. We'll be good. I'll go Eagles by seven. Yep. Still a bit Yeah, we just lost 40 minutes for nothing. <laughs> 50. <laughs> yeah, you just wait for a skill error and it's eventually going to come anyway. Now we get to where we were. What was the point of that?
my half time down after a six goal to two term. Much better? Oh, much better. They really lifted that quarter. Yeah. Um, I think, you know, Kelly, especially in the second half, Joe did well. And Jack Darling broke loose. I think that's one of the big factors as well. Yeah. And probably the turning point when he got his couple of goals. It's true. Tim Kelly's at 19 and a goal. I think he leads all comers. Uh, yep. Let's hope this doesn't repeat what happened in Marvel Stadium earlier yes. this year. We got yes. this far in front, in, in fact, further uh, yeah. and lost the game. So, so that's the $64 question, is it? Can they yeah. keep it up? <laughs> <laughs> G'day guys, back at home now. Um, just reflecting on the game with Dad G, flat, flat finish it. I think the biggest takeaway from the game is just that he would have absolutely no fitness. Like, it's ridiculous. Like, it almost happened again from, what was it, round four against St Kilda, uh, led by five and a half goals, ended up losing the game. Today, almost the exact same story. Got out to a five goal lead against Essendon earlier this year, ended up losing the game. Remember, we faded out poorly against Port Adelaide as well. I think even against the Dogs in round two, we had uh, almost a match winning lead late in the game. We just couldn't run it out. So as far as I'm concerned, we played really well. The best we played today was really, really good. Um, clearly better than St Kilda's. And then uh, to their credit, they were really good to capitalize when we completely dropped off. And Gee, Max King, the story of today's game. Six goals, absolutely, utterly dominant, um, and we just didn't have an answer for him. So uh, good to bank the points because uh, it means I think we need to win two more games to make finals now um, with Collingwood and Fremantle next up. So hopefully we're on the right track. I've said previously I didn't really care make, about making finals, but now that the dust kind of settled, I'd obviously rather see us be good enough to play finals than miss out. But uh, in the scheme of things, 
you know, good win, but really, really concerned about the way we can't run out game. So fitness, definitely an issue. All right, I am going to chill out and edit this video um, while the dogs and Ds go head to head. It looks like the dogs are up by 13. So um, I'm hoping the Ds get up mostly for my tipping, um, but I, I like both teams. So we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.